Hi, Caitlin Lavender, um, New Jersey-based poet and author of the book Cinderblock Sandcastles, Prose, Poetry, and Photography, inspired by the New Jersey coastline, and also recently winner of the uh, VSA New Jersey Wordsmith Competition. I'm here with you today for day number 19 of my project, Poetry Every Day. I'm doing original poetry by me for you every single day um, on my YouTube. So I have 18 other videos. If you haven't seen them, check them out. Today I have an original poem that was in my book, Cinderblock Sandcastles. It's called Surfboard. Um, it tends to be a, a favorite of readers and also, you know, people who come to my book signings and uh, my readings. I, I tend to get really good feedback on this one. So I hope that you really like it. Um, it goes like this. Surfboard. My father left a surfboard when he passed away, which hung untouched in our garage, collecting dust there day by day. I remember when he'd take me for night swims in July. I'd dry off on the sand while he chased a last ride. One day when I missed him, I took his board down to the ocean. I never paddled out before, but I had a notion. If I could summon the courage and just find one wave to ride, if for a mere moment I'd see things through his eyes. I weaved through the breakers and felt the current beneath me. I wished for a second that he was there to teach me. I guess there are some things you must learn on your own, but I wasn't, le I wasn't ready to be left alone. It had been a few years, but I was still afraid that there may be no heaven, no Lord, no judgment day. But I felt the water under me as I sat upon my board, and its power and beauty left me humbled and reassured. For a great God must have created something that holds such mystery as the waves, the tides, and the currents of the deep blue and endless sea. I took a small wave back to shore, feeling like my soul had been cleansed. Out there alone, you're forced to see life through a different lens. Although I still may never know exactly why he surfed, taking time to try to understand created peace for me on earth. Um, again, that was my poem, Surfboard, from my book, Cinder Black Sandcastles. Um, it was written about uh, my dad, who passed away when I was 23, um, now 31. Um, but anyway, I kind of tried to write this um, either, even from like a younger perspective, um, as I think like, you know, most of our memories, like with our parents, um, stem from when we were really young. I kind of wanted to, to drive home you know, the younger factor and, like, um, how your your parents kind of, like, introduce you to things um, as you're growing up. And being from a beach town, surfing was definitely something that's all around us and something my dad loved to do. Um, I like to watch it. I, you know, don't really surf that too often, but, like, once in a while I'll go out and kind of just play around. Um, but anyway, I think that a lot of people can kind of resonate um, with this poem. Um, I also kind of – I included – um, references a little bit to like God in this which I at first like wasn't sure if I should do or not because I wasn't sure if other people would be comfortable with me just referencing um, that in my poetry since you know not everybody has the same beliefs but um, I definitely thought that it was appropriate and it was something that I wanted to include so I did and it's gotten good response so far Anyway, I hope that you did enjoy this poem. Um, I always enjoy getting on here and doing this for you. When I first started, um, well, like almost three weeks ago, um, with number one, I like didn't even really want to do number. I didn't really even want to do the first one. I, you know, I, I, it's a little bit difficult to get on um, and to speak uh, on video and put it out there for like tons of people to see, but. Um, yeah, I'm getting more comfortable with these and um, getting good feedback. So I hope that, you know, you're enjoying them and that you check out my other videos. Um, yeah, and pick up my books, Cinder Black Sand Castles. It's available on my website or through Barnes & Noble. Um, but yeah, my website's cinderblocksandcastles.com. I've got a lot of stuff up there and also on my Facebook page. Um, you can link to my Instagram through cinderblocksandcastles.com where I post, you know, poetry and stuff. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I'm off to get my track team. I will talk to you soon. Bye.